7 cars with weird seating configurations. What's up everyone? I'll admit, seating configurations in most cars are quite dull, really. Two seats in the front, two or three in the back, and that's about it. Whilst it's probably for good reason, I can't help but wonder what other layouts have been attempted. Luckily for me, I'm not the only one, and there have been loads of attempts to do something a bit different. Let's get right into the video. Number 1. The McLaren F1 Introduced in 1992, the McLaren F1 made history in so many ways, and even today it's one of the coolest supercars out there. Despite its coolness though, I'm still not quite sure how they seem to fetch tens of millions of pounds when they go on sale, but still, they're pretty awesome. Arguably the best feature that premiered on the F1 was the unusual but rather sensible three-seat configuration, with the middle seat being the driver's one. The F1 has in fact a central driving position, and passengers sit on each side of the driver. This was highly controversial in the early 90s, and still is, but it makes perfect sense. The seating position was a large part as to why the McLaren F1 was never officially sold in the USA. Since then, there have been just seven federalized examples, with modifications to be legal in the USA. Number 2. The Subaru Brat the Subaru Brat, or the Bi-Drive Recreational All-Terrain Transporter, was a light pickup truck with all-wheel drive sold from 1978 until 1994. It was a practical and capable workhorse, but its main claim to fame was a unique seating configuration with two seats in the cabin and two seats, called jump seats, in the back, facing the rear of the vehicle. Subaru didn't initially have the intention of installing rear seats, but due to the infamous chicken tax which affected the imported cars from Japan, two extra seats were added. This transformed the vehicle just enough from ordinary pickup truck into passenger vehicle, at least in Uncle Sam's eyes. This meant that the 25% import tax was no longer imposed on the Brat, and Subaru paid only 2.5%, which kept the price of the vehicle down and ensured its popularity on the American market. Number 3. The Fiat Multipla Apart from being one of the ugliest cars ever produced, and the constant butt of jokes in the automotive world, the Multipla is, in fact, a rather practical car. It has tons of room inside thanks to its boxy shape, a solid boot space, low running costs, and these days can be purchased for as little as a couple of hundred pounds. More interestingly, however, is its clever six-person seating configuration. The Multipla has two rows of seats, and each one of them can hold three people. There is a smaller but still usable middle seat in the front, which makes this practical minivan a proposition for bigger families or for a kid who just wants to see out the front. All seats are adjustable too, and you can even remove the entire rear bench or the middle seat. This means that you can transform the car from a six-seater people carrier to a two- or three-seat van, ideal for mountain bikes, tools, or any other bulky items. Number 4. The Matra Bagheera Popular in the 70s, French boutique manufacturer Matra was always a very innovative and forward-thinking company. In 1973, they released the Bagheera, a small but very modern-looking sports coupe with a twist, a three-seat configuration. Even though the Bagheera was a tiny car, designers managed to install three seats, which could accommodate three adults. The driver's seat was a bit bigger, but the two passenger seats were still very usable. The car surprised the automotive public, and it didn't take long before it was known as the sports car in which you can take your wife and your mistress on a weekend trip. Number 5. The Renault Twizy A step above a 50cc scooter sits the innovative Renault Twizy. The Twizy has two seats, like you might expect from a car of this size, but unlike almost any other car on the market, the seats are positioned like in a fighter jet, driver in the front and the passenger in the back. Of course, there isn't a lot of space in the back and it's a little dark, but still, it's way better than walking and a great way to transport two people over short distances. Number 6. The Geely GE If you're not familiar with the Geely GE, I don't blame you, unless you live in China, in which case, how are you even on YouTube? Only sold to the domestic Chinese market, it's kind of their version of a Rolls-Royce Phantom. It's big, opulent, luxurious, and reserved only for the elites. Interestingly, the GE is so luxurious that it's sold as a three-seater vehicle, which is unheard of in this class. In the front, there are two seats, like in most cars. However, in the back, 
there is one single seat, essentially what's a big leather armchair for the passenger to sit in. Despite being an undoubtedly luxurious experience, we reckon it might get a bit lonely in the back. But if you're the sort of person that doesn't like to share, it might just be the car for you. Number 7. The BAC Mono Probably the most intense sports car experience you can get in a car is behind the wheel of a BAC Mono. With over 300 horsepower at your disposal, a sequential racing transmission, perfectly tuned suspension and just over 500 kilograms of weight, the BAC Mono is pretty out of this world. So is its price tag, sadly, and more than £165,000 brand new. Its single seat driving configuration is pure race car though, and people who've had the privilege to take it on a track say that the experience is incredible. Still, that's a lot of money for a single seat track toy. For the rest of us, it'd be cool if Caterham or a similar brand could do something with this seating configuration for, say, £40,000, right? That's got to be possible. So, there you are. What cars did I miss? Do you know of any other cars with even weirder seating configurations? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to like or dislike the video. Cheers!